Okay, in Genesis 6, when the sons of God fell and things like that and begin to sleep with the daughters of men, you read the book of Enoch, it talks about how they begin to teach them things that they were not ready for. Come on, God. Okay? They begin to teach them. They teach them how to make weapons, and they begin to teach them, you know, about the stars, and they begin to teach them all, all the stuff that man was not ready to understand. They was already sinful enough. So this is why you have people that will take the depths of God and use it in a corrupt manner. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, uh, also in Ezekiel 28, uh, uh, God told uh, 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 a Lucifer, you corrupted your wisdom by reason of your brightness. Mm -hmm. You understand? Don't you know that something that, that starts off pure can be corrupted? Yes, God. That, I, I tell you all, all the time, that's all the New Age movement is. They took our stuff, okay, and, it, and they twisted it. So then people get mad at me because I take it and twist it back. <laughs> I take it and twist it back and put it back in the original intent. Tell me, that's witchcraft. <laughs> so you believe the ones who stole it over the one who... Come on. Yeah. Mm. Come on. Let me say this. I, can, can, can I chase this rabbit just for two minutes? Yes, there is no power outside of God. That's Ooh, right. Come on, God. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come Let on. me say that again. There is no power that exists outside of God. So where did witchcraft come from? Witchcraft is when you take God's power, you take God's sciences and his wisdom and his knowledge, and you use it outside of the context that God originated it for. Come on, God. That's where you get all this witchcraft from. And then people like to add their little own spin to it, but, you know, there's only but so much spin you can add because, again, no power exists outside of God. Amen. Okay. Amen. I just thought I'd add that little nugget in there. Because, see, we, we swear everything is just demonic. <laughs> but it's demonic when you deviate. Come on, God. Come on. Come on, God. Come on, God. It becomes demonic when you deviate. Mm, okay, mm, mm, mm. this is why we need, we as believers need to get to a place where we're not just spooky and scared all the time, but we know who we are. Mm. Okay, and begin to become discipled and what God. Okay, Come on. become discipled in the depths of God. Mm. But see, you know that's why you know that's why they had the company of prophets and you know uh, things like that. That's why Jesus had his disciples. You know. Uh, 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 the Bible don't even say all of what Jesus taught them. Right. Nope. That's true. The Bible even says that there were some things that Jesus taught yep. that was not even recorded. That's right. Come on, God. I wonder what that was. Huh? Come on, God. Stuff that a lot of people in that generation wasn't ready for. Mm. There are scrolls. <sighs> Jesus, what you got? You got me out of here. <laughs> there, there, there are scrolls that were sealed. Back then, that are being unsealed now. It's just like the scrolls in, that that was seen in Daniel was being opened in Revelation, right? It, it, it was opened in Revelation. So there are things that have been sealed, okay, that are now being revealed to mature the processed individuals, okay, who have been trained by God to handle these mysteries. Okay. 